what, what I encourage people to do is understand how the tax laws work in your favor. So for instance, let's say that in, you, you put, let's say you take two nest eggs of $100,000 and you put one into an annuity and earn whatever, three, four, five, six percent, and you put a similar amount of money into just a personal investment account in your name, and you put it into something that is earning the same rate of return. Or let's say you, in both the annuity and in your own personal account, regular account, you put $100,000 into an S&P 500 index fund. And, that, and, and they grow right along with each other at the same rate. The only problem is in the annuity, there's gonna be some fees that will eat into that, but on the personal account, there isn't. And, but let's just assume they both grow at exactly the same rate. And then you die, okay? And the money's distributed to your survivors, other than a spouse, and you're gonna pay, that you're, they are gonna have to pay probably about 40% in taxes on that money. So on 100,000, on, on, let's say it grew to a, a million dollars, uh, they'd have to pay about $400,000 in taxes. On the account that you just invested in your own name, you know, with your friendly neighborhood broker or whatever, and it grew to a million dollars, how much do you have to pay in taxes, or do your survivors, beneficiaries have to pay in taxes? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Because they get what's called the step up in value. When you, when, when, when you die, the people that inherit your money get this step up in value. So their cost basis becomes the value of the investment on the day that you died. Don't need an attorney or a lawyer to do that for you or anybody else. Pretty simple, pretty simple concept. Uh, so yeah, th there's a, a lot of things that you can do. Taxes are, are a reality. You're gonna pay taxes one way or the other, but there are ways that you can eliminate a lot of taxes. 